Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Me's channel. This is Miss Me and my channel. I do vlog videos, makeup videos, lifestyle videos, fitness videos, study videos, and everything I'm passionate to create a happy, healthy, beautiful lifestyle. If this content interests you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out any future content. And again, our goal for this channel is to, is to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And thank you so much if you have subscribed and thank you so much for watching my content. All right. Let's get started. So today, I want to get ready with you guys to create this look to try on and review a palette that I recently purchased from Ulta. I am so sorry for, yeah. I am sorry, I'm so sorry for messing up the packaging. Um, this is the uh, Make Up Your Mind palette from NARS. It's a Ulta special edition, which means you can only purchase this one from Ulta. The price point of this palette is retailed as $49. And, uh, and also I purchased this palette when it was on sale. Um, so I actually only spent $35 for this palette. This Make Up Your Own Mind, uh, Make Up Your Own Mind, this Make Up Your Mind Eyes and Cheek palette contains Ta-da! It contains three shades of blush, one shade of bronzer contour, and eight shades of eyeshadows. And two of the eyeshadows are glitter shimmery colors, and two of them are matte but has a slight sheen to it, and there are like three or four complete matte eyeshadow colors. And one column of the eyeshadows are very warm color, the other one is a very cool tone colored. So we're gonna do the swatches right now. All right, so now we're gonna do the swatches. Okay, so first we are going to do the blushes. Okay. Ah. So those are the blush shades and then the contour shade. We have Laguna, Orgasm, Luster and the other one is Dose Vita. You can see the blushes have a slightly shim shim to it. The pigmentation is really nice. It's highly blendable and the colors are very pretty. All right, let's do the eyeshadows now. All right, so these are the eyeshadow shades in this palette. We have some really matte colors. We have some glitter shimmer colors. We have some colors that has a slight shin to it, and we have some really dark neutral colors. I think in general this is a really good palette um, because it contains both the neutral colors, the warm tone colors, and also darker tone colors with cool tone colors. It has both matte colors, slight shin colors, and shimmer colors. So you can definitely create different looks with this palette and I can tell this is going to be very practical and useful when you put on makeup every single day. Look how pretty this color is. I think the shimmery colors are my favorite. They look so magical. All right, so now that we have swatched the palette, let's try them on and get ready to create this look. Um, just, <laughs> um, just a disclaimer to demonstrate as many shades as possible. I basically almost used every shade in this palette, but in everyday look, don't. <laughs> You don't have to put all of the shades just to create a very complicated look. Um, I think in general, um, before this video, I used this palette twice to create two different looks. So you can definitely just use two or three shades for one look and then the other. Even sometimes one shade is good enough to create a everyday look. So, are you ready? Let's get started! So I'm super excited to try on. I'm putting on this dress to match the color collections of this palette and somehow it's 90 degrees although the AC is running but I'm still super hot oh my god like long sleeve is not a great idea um, after filming this video I'm gonna film another video but I'm going to get changed because I'm like dying right now but I, I really really want to wear something that matched the palette okay so we're gonna start with the eyes okay we're gonna use a eyeshadow sorry if I blinded you guys with a reflection of the light. So we're gonna go in with a eyeshadow 
brush and we're gonna choose the lightest shade right here and we're going to oh my god I need a primer for my eyes some some somehow 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 my foundation always crease right here on my eye crease which is not cool but if you use a powder to sh um, if you use a powder to set this area usually it should be fine do you notice anything? So this is the very light color, and this is the color uh, Hamlet, and the other one is Nepal. Okay, this is the light. So we're gonna use it as a base color. I feel like this palette is really great for fall look, um, because of the color arrangement. But the only thing that's missing from this palette is the highlight. We don't have a highlighter, but we have three blushes, which are, which is a little bit excessive. But we also have the other Na Nars, but we also have the other Nars palette um, that has like all shimmery cream products that can function as a highlight. So we're gonna use it later after we create our look. Okay, so yeah, this base color is really nice in terms of contouring our eyes. Okay, and try to use your brush as a circular motion. And also, I ate a lot of breakfast. I felt bad. I shouldn't eat that much. Okay, here we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. See? So if you are just going to work, I feel like this is okay. Like this one shade is good enough, to be honest, right? Okay, then we're gonna use a different brush and we are going to go in with this color, which is Sophia right here. Sophia. I'm gonna highlight right here on the crease. It has a little bit of fallout, but not a lot. It's doable. Okay. I think just like those two shades are good enough if you're just going to work or going to school. It has some glitter shades, shimmer shades, but these two are good enough. So this will be the first look using the eyeshadow. We're gonna add on and add on and adding on. Um, but these two are my go-to shades going to work because they're not too much. They're um, neutral towards a little bit warm color versus if I start to add on, it's gonna be getting cooler and cooler to the cooler side. I know my description is a little bit weird, but but you know what I mean. Okay, okay, okay. So the next one, it has two shimmery shades right here. From my uh, previous experience, it's always nicer to use your fingers to apply the shimmer shades. I don't know if you can see it. The shimmer shades are super sheer and elegant. I feel like it's great for like everyday look. Like given it's not like huge glitter, but the pigment is nice. It's like a little bit add-on, but it's not like something that you use just to um, just put on as a solo eyeshadow. Okay, so this is the golden shimmery shades right here, the golden glitter. I absolutely love this one. Okay, so these are the warm color. Okay, so these are the warm color, but we can also use some cooling color like purple to create look. So we're going to try with Nepal, this one. And we're gonna add it on at the end of the eyes. You can see the Nepal shade is a very cool color cool tone color but if you're just using it to create an everyday look or anything do not put all eight shades on my on your eyes I'm putting I'm trying on all of the shades just to show you what it look like on my eyes but not to say that this is how you create this look or you could if you really like the end result okay, okay. I can definitely tell that my eyeshadows are getting cooler and cooler by adding on just one Nepal shade. But we're still gonna try the purple. I always wanted to try the purple. I'm sorry. I always wanted to try the purple, but no matter how, no matter which direction my <laughs> mirrors face, it's always a lot of junk. Okay, so we're gonna try on with this purple. 
wow. I suddenly just feel like I'm a baddie <laughs> with this purple shade. Yeah, definitely this purple is great for like a smoky eye look for the night compared to the other shades. Okay, always use a clean brush to really blend in everything together just in case you mess up the look. Okay, so we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. The purple is very pigmented. What I really, really like about this palette is every matte shade is so good. The quality is very, very good. Pigmentation is very good. Very little fallouts. There are some, but not a lot. And it's so easy to blend. Okay, and now we're going to come, go in with this purple-ish glitter. It is so pretty. Ah. Then we're of, of course gonna use our fingers. I'm gonna put the other side right here. Yeah. I'm use a brush to dust the fallouts. There are definitely like more fallouts from the glitter than the matte. The matte is definitely good. Okay. Here we go. Again, this is just to show you what the shades look like on my eyes. But um, if you're just if you're using this palette, make sure you use it by the column because this column is more warm toned versus this other column is more cool toned and great for smoky every day, smoky for work, smoky for work. So night and day, night and day. But today I put like both columns. It's a little bit weird and too much, <laughs> but it's okay. And then you also have a very dark shade right here. I always, I always appreciate when they give you a very dark shade to really contour right here to create this like eyeliner effect. This look is getting more and more smoky, but we're good. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I want to say the matte shades in this palette is so, so, so good. Super good. Okay, there we go. And then now we're going to put some eyeliner. It's a little bit weird with that eyeliner. The mirror works really well if you're putting, like you can bend the mirror in whichever direction you want and you would just stay like this. And this is how I put on my Okay, now we're gonna work on my face, the complexions. <gasps> I think I'm gaining weight because this dress is to not to be this type. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the blush and contour. It only has one contour, one bronzer, which is the uh, Laguna, but Laguna is one of their classic contour. It is also cool toned, so it's perfect for fall and winter compared to, you know, in summer you get tan, you get like more warm contour and bronzer versus in winter I do like to use a cool tone contour bronzer. So we're gonna put this Cool, I love it. I love Laguna. Yep. yep. Okay, now we're gonna contour my nose using the smaller brush. I also use Laguna. Okay. Okay, Laguna is on. Now we're gonna choose a blush. Which one do we want to use? Do we want to use uh, orgasm or luster or dose vita? Mm. I was thinking about trying this dose vita first. Oh wow, so good. And then trying the Laguna on the other side. Yeah, Laguna is more pink versus the other one is more nude and peachy. Maybe Laguna is a better choice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as you know, there is no highlighter in this palette, which is pretty sad because I would definitely trade one of the blush 
to a highlighter. Yeah. So we're gonna use a highlighter from another NARS palette. This is the NARS Endless Orgasm palette. Um, it has a lot of different shades include, let's open this. Ah! never open this palette okay so it has different shimmer shades that's associated with one orgasm so we have orgasm estasi deep orgasm super orgasm double orgasm orgasm fever and orgasm um it's a cream product palette everything is made of shimmer uh i thought i would be using this palette a lot it turned out that it's not a great palette for summer because in summer it's super hot and you're super sweaty you don't need shimmery to create this glow <laughs> your sweat will create this natural glow but since we're in um, fall season I do like to use this palette on top of my matte foundation just to create this glow ish effect um, so we're going to use this one I think it's the orgasm is sassy or something so we're gonna use this color and just use our finger and it's very easy to blend, very easy, see? And then you have this very natural glow and use it as a highlighter right here on my nose. You don't, you don't need to use a beauty blender or anything or a brush. I feel like hand, your fingers are actually a better um, application tool in terms of this palette. Unless you're like super professional in terms of like how many different like palettes you have, how many different um, application tool you have. You can also use this one to highlight the top of your eye. It's not a shimmery color, it's just a glowy color as a highlight. It's really, really pretty. And put it right here. See? I love to create an effect like this. And then other side this is my favorite shade in the palette I feel like I would just buy this single shade instead of the whole palette but I don't know which I don't know if you can do that yeah and then we're gonna do this side again and it's a neutral color it doesn't have glitter so it feels like the glow is from within which is super super nice like your own skin glow yeah yeah you can also use other shades to glow yourself but I don't think it's necessary so far but in winter it's definitely gonna be better when it comes to like trying not to be too mad or you know trying to have a glowy look alrighty I think that's it we finished today's get ready with me we used this palette and we also used one shade from the other NARS palette and honestly if you only have budget to get one product from NARS I highly 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 recommend this make your own mind or make your mind NARS palette it's only $49 for so many different shades the quality is so so good if you're just getting the I think the dual dual shade or something like that in NARS or just a very small palette I think it's already like $40 or something so just adding $9 you get additional eyeshadow shades and again this is only available in Ulta this one is really pretty but I feel like I actually don't reach this palette every single day I do use it for a weekend I do use it to create this glow but it's not as like this one that you can actually take it to travel and also this packaging is super super heavy it's really great for collective purposes like if you're collecting a special palettes I think this one is really nice it has unique shades that you won't find anywhere else so it is a good product but if you're on a budget, I definitely recommend purchasing this one. Yeah! Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this video has been helpful for you in terms of choosing the palette. I tried on the majority of the shades on my face and 
overall my impression of this product after using it for three times um, in the past week. I definitely, definitely loved it. I definitely recommend it if you can get it on sale. It's a great value. Um, if you can't get it on sale, it's still good for $49 for four uh, face palette shades and then eight um, eyeshadow shades. And it's great for everyday look, your day look, work look, and your night look. You can use two of the shades, one of the shades to create a look. You can also use like me like six shades and eyeshadows uh, for so definitely i recommend 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 this palette all right that's it for today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out any future content thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye